Hello everybody. Today we're going to start the process of installing the roof rack. We've gone with it's called AVC rig. A is an apple, V is in Victor, C is in cat. ABC rig. Um, this is a special kit for this particular van, custom made um, for the extended high roof. So they don't really have instructions. They had to email me the instructions. Um, there's not a whole lot to say about this because uh, you might want to get your own different kind of roof rack so giving you instructions might be counterproductive um, so I'm just gonna show you here this is the front uh, the front panel and I'll show you what it looks like installed okay guys I've laid out the the pieces all the way around um, for the ABC rig uh, roof rack. This is just a foot, so we're going to put some beetle tape on that. It's called a compression foot, so it doesn't go inside the van. Now these, on the other hand, have a plastic hole here, and they're supposed to be a threaded uh, nut or, or, I'm sorry, a threaded bolt or something, whatever you want to call it, uh, so I can put these, um, bolts into. We'll find out. Well, as you can see here, I'm not sure if you can see on video or not, the hole does not line up. I am going to have to cut this part of the metal out. Actually, I don't even see a point of them putting this here. They should just mark an X for me to drill a hole, my own hole. It's silly. Okay, just to follow up, I went ahead and got a metal nibbler. That works nice. Very easy. Uh, this was expensive because it's an air tool. It was like 65 bucks, but you can get one for $5 that goes on an end of a drill. Um, maybe uh, end of an impact uh, as well uh, but anyway that's like five six bucks on eBay it's called a um, metal nibbler metal nibbler the air tool is very handy hey guys so this is what the AVC roof uh, rack looks like installed uh, you can see the front Wind, def uh, wind deflector on the front there, which is adjustable. You can make it higher or lower. This is just where I thought it should be without getting too close to the um, to the roof of the van. I think it looks really good. Uh, there are crossbar or cross sections on the top for uh, where the solar panels are going to go. The back does not have a, a cover. It uses a cross bar, cross section there uh, for stability. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a view from the top here. I haven't fully tightened it down. I did for the towers. The towers were fully tightened. Now, it's just some advice. Uh, when you tighten this down, you put a bunch of, uh, obviously you put a bunch of butyl tape first. You tighten it down all the way around come back in an hour because all the butyl tape squishes out tighten it again wait an hour come back tighten it again cut the butyl tape off tighten it again you don't want to over tighten it but you want to give it time to compress down and let that butyl tape squish out which will make it obviously loose again so you have to tight you keep tighten it down every couple hours until you say enough is enough uh, then you cover the top with some um, lap sealant uh, which we've used in the same lap sealant we used for the uh, Max Air vent fan. Here's another uh, compression foot that I'm going to install here on the back. I'm told by AVC that it goes like this. 
Um, they didn't give me instructions on this portion of it, but they told me that it sits uh, just like this. Um, I did not do that on the front, so I might... I'm happy with the way the front came out, but I might... Uh, I might put it in the channel, uh, just like they suggested here. Uh, but I haven't done that yet. I haven't tightened anything else down yet, except for the towers. Um, but that's it. Um, with the extended, it comes with 10 crossbars. I haven't put in the other two crossbars. Uh, what do I have here? I've got eight crossbars installed right now. I got, uh, and they recommended that I use the other two uh, just for more stability, and I agree with them. Uh, but I'm really happy with the way it looks. It's very sturdy, even though I haven't fully tightened it down yet. It's adjustable. You can see it's a little loose here because I haven't tightened down those uh, nuts on the outside. I'm going to use um, some thread lock. Always use the blue thread lock. Never the red. The red is permanent. <laughs> you don't want to use that. Anyway, I think it looks real good. They did a really good job at the AVC rig, or the AVC rig team did a very good job fabbing this. It's a little expensive. I think it's about $1,900, $2,000, uh, but I think it's worth it. I've, I've gone through a lot of roof racks uh, online, and this is the nicest looking one by far. Installation was easy. It's just time consuming. Uh, it's recommended that you lay out all the towers first. Uh, and just to give you an idea on the towers, it goes compression foot single double tower double tower single tower single tower compression foot so uh, the compression foot single double double single single and the doubles you can see the reason why the doubles is because that's where the the long pieces meet up there right there on the right and right there on the left um, I haven't adjusted it. There's a space on one side and not on the other. I just have to move it forward. Those are not tightened down yet, so um, I'm going to get it just perfect. Anyway, I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change a thing on it. I'm very happy with it, and it looks good. See you in the next video.